Tourism and Environmental Affairs, Nomo Sadube Nube, says she is currently in talks with the national government following the cancellation of flights to Durban by Emirates. The first Emirates flight between Dubai and Durban following the relaxation of the COVID-19 regulations was expected to land at the Kinshaga International Airport around midday today. To discuss this further now, we're joined on the line by Guazulu Natal, Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs, MEC Nomusa Dube Ngube. Very good afternoon to you, MEC. Thank you so much for joining us here on the SABC News channel. Yes, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to your listeners. All right, so just give us an understanding on the cancellation. Is it due to the fact that uh, COCTA regulations that were announced this week uh, meant that the airline crew were to be treated the same way as passengers as per the reports? I think there has been a miscommunication um, that happened uh, between the um, airlines and uh, um, our um, airport um, companies, uh, but I think uh, those uh, uh, challenges are being uh, finalized and they're being dealt with as I talk because uh, I'm talking to you, we are all already at the airport uh, awaiting the arrival of um, the Qatar Airlines, which will be landing um, just now at five o'clock, uh, which is uh, one of the international uh, airlines. Uh, which really begins the uh, uh, landing of many other international airlines that will be landing directly um, to the Durban um, International uh, Airport. All right. So if you say that uh, there may have been some miscommunication between uh, the airline and uh, the airport's company, what do you know, uh, what might have led to the decision by Emirates to cancel flights to Durban? Well, we are told that um, there were miscommunication with regard to the regulations and the interpretation of the regulations themselves um, about what are the requirements um, for um, the crew members vis-a-vis -vis the um, travelers uh, of the Emirates. And as I say, that we have been in discussions with our um, ministers uh, nationally, as well as the airlines um, and the AXA. And um, as far as we are concerned, um, last night the ministers uh, were able to resolve some of these um, challenges that were being experienced. And unfortunately, um, it was already late uh, for um, some of um, the um, arrangements for, for Emirates to resume. But uh, we are very positive that um, they will be landing uh, maybe um, the next, uh, by next uh, few days um, again in Durban. All right. But then as far as you know, were there no uh, perhaps consultations with the avi aviation industry, as you say, that there may have been some miscommunication somewhere here? Well, we wouldn't know, um, really, um, because those are the discussions that happen at the national level um, between the national government um, as well as the uh, national departments uh, of uh, transport and the international relations as well as the, the airlines. Um, we are here at the um, Durban or at the... KZN um, at the um, AXA airport working with the counterpart here. And uh, we have been in touch with the airlines. We have been in touch with all the stakeholders. And uh, as soon as we heard that there were these problems, we were in touch with our ministers last night. And they assured us that uh, they were resolving the problems. All right. So as far as, as far as you're concerned, you're hopeful that uh, the engagements will certainly uh, uh, mean that uh, the flights will resume again in KZN? Is that what you're saying? Definitely. Mm. All right. So we know that KZN is a major tourism uh, destination. Talk to us about some of the plans, perhaps, of the province uh, in terms of, you know, trying to kickstart the economy uh, 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 post this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, we very we're working very hard to ensure that uh, we bring back uh, our visitors that uh, have been missing uh, our province uh, um, during the lockdown. 
Um, we've started our campaign already during the tourism month, and uh, we're going ahead uh, working with all the um, tourism partners, with the various embassies, uh, with various uh, tourism associations, and all our community stakeholders to ensure that uh, we support the tourism industry um, to get back to its feet, as we know that uh, this is the industry really that has been hard as hit when it comes to the economic uh, um, uh, meltdown that we experienced in, in our country, but also in the globe and in the world. So we are working very hard to really support the industry. All right. So you've been reiterating your commitment really to continue to work with uh, the different uh, airlines to position the province as a destination of uh, a tourists. So have you been in discussions with um, other airlines? Yes, we have been in discussions with other airlines. Turkish Airlines um, is ready to resume. Um, British Airways um, is also ready to resume their flight. Um, the um, SA Express, SA Air Link, all those strategic airlines that we have been working with flying directly to the African region as well as to the other African countries. Um, they're all ready to resume uh, flying uh, back uh, international flights uh, from uh, Durban and to the region and also to the international countries. And uh, we're very excited that... Uh, we are going to be getting back um, to our feet uh, within no time. That is why our our marketing and tourism um, a, a company is working very hard to ensure that uh, our campaign and working with all our partners uh, in support uh, of the industry is making sure that uh, people know that uh, KZN is open for business and also there are very attractive uh, packages that are available. Uh, for people to come and travel and explore a lot of new uh, products here in Guadalupe Natal. All right, let me see. That's where we leave it. Leave it. We thank you so much for coming through. Thank you.